and that kind of stuff, some good individual action, anything might happen. So, it's going to be interesting. Well, I know uh, we talked about this before, Air Bridger, Comrade Bridger, that uh, it's going to be a nice homecoming, homecoming for you. Uh, we'll make sure that you're not muted for the first 15 minutes of this broadcast, and we certainly have more than 11 yes. viewers. <laughs> yes! Victory! Yes. Already. Already. Uh, waiting on three, here's your roster rundown very quickly. So we have Zed, Foppa, Artstar, Lelson, Idlaw, and Rivji, I guess, versus Kiz, Zai, Strango, Neo, Krumsirk, and Warface. <laughs> These names. The pings all look relatively uh. nominal. Go ahead, Merle. That crumb cert guy is actually crumbs. Uh, one side oh. of the player <laughs> who's marking the the G stars. And so that is free. that is crumbs then. Okay, well that makes sense. Yep, indeed. That's a strong mark. Waiting on three. Now You're not joining the server, please. I thought DTS have the the privilege to be there first since I joined up late, but I think DTS. No, 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 boys, you do it. I, I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually heading off in a minute, boys. I've got to go and practice with Liquid, so um, that's just, this is actually quite happy that you've turned up. Because you can take my place. You'll do a better job of it anyway. Fact. <laughs> I mean, Fact. I mean all I can Sorry. talk about is food and women. You're, you're <laughs> far more insightful. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> there we have it. Soldiers and soldats, <laughs> welcome to return to Castle Wolfenstein tonight. It looks as if the RTCW Legacy Cup is officially underway. Yavol, the Allied defense here tonight. Gang stars. It took me a second to figure out their, their tags versus VSC incoming Axis offense. That being said, we're going to hand this immediately to Comrade Bridger. Take it away. Alright, so the first action always takes place right here at the main gate. We've got Zed right up top trying to provide some suppressing fire, preventing the Allies from getting those grenades over the top. Luckily, uh, they've already got the dynamite down on the hatch. They are going to get it red right there. Yes, indeed. So we've got dynamite down. Uh, they are now opening the main gate. Zed about to lead the charge forward, uh, but he is no match for the long-range fire of the enemy Thompson. I believe that was uh, Crumb's way over there on uh, the top of that uh, wall. So we're having actually an attack across the top, even as the dynamite itself is going to be blowing up the hatch any minute now. Uh, and, and it looks like it's a pretty successful attack right now. We've got Zed, uh, Idla, and Fapa making yep, their way right across the top. Very quickly across the tarmac, uh, almost unopposed, charging forward, now tracking Fapa, trying to make his way inside that garage. The door slams shut, drops the grenade, and taken out. Now with Strangle on the Allied defense here this evening. Break down what you've seen so far, Voice. A pretty uh, strong push initially up that tarmac, but it looks like it has been shut down. It has been shut down, but as you can see right now, the the guys who just spawned, they tried to make their way towards the garage and got killed in that process. So the uh, garage defense is slightly weakened, and that is exactly where the axes are heading to right now with Foppa, Lelson, uh, Artsar, I believe, as well, just outside there waiting to move in, and even the Panzer is in place. This is looking good for the axes. Now, apologies <laughs> for yeah. anybody who just might have... Uh, <laughs> Server lag out there. Gentlemen, it's no different. The settings are exactly the same as they were during the previous cup. So apologies, Luca Milata, to anyone who's having issues uh, here this evening. It might be changes on the side of Twitch. Uh, regardless, we'll just blame them for that. 743 here on the clock tonight. Uh, a couple rushes so far, Comrade Bridger. No penetration from the Axis yet. A double Panzer Faust kill. From Idla lays it down and takes out Neo and Kiss. We've got uh, Fafa and Artstar making their way through the lower uh, levels here. I'm going to see if I can follow Fafa right now as he makes his way over the catwalks. They're going to put the dynamite down on the main door here. Access access to the uh, the radar under. Uh, under levels there, and uh, he's he's just kind of setting the stage for an attack in the lower levels. We're going to have to wait a, a good 30 seconds or so for that dynamite to go off. Going to watch the top here as Violent Saws everything again, trying to make their way across the uh, the tarmac, 
and again shut down right pa when they get past those boxes. It seems there's a there's just a, too much fire coming from the G uh, the, the Gangstars team, and uh, there it is. Lelson actually making a surprising headway, <laughs> and when he gets to the door again, that door yeah. is like the doom of every tarmac assault. There, Woolwich. yeah, yeah. Don't open that door, voice. Bad news awaits inside. Exactly. Now, just when I said they were doing good, three of them ran into that door and all got killed pretty much instantly. They they opened that door. Uh, good defense from Xai as said, or Xai from uh, G Stars as said. It's a bit uh, default, but you know it works. We got a garage push now, but again knocked down. Uh, I think more than can confirm this. If you want to play this map right, it is all about timing. You need to time your airstrikes, time your kills, to get that uh, get that overweight uh, to the other team. I think I think it's also about taking advantage of of your kills. I, I've, I think it's happened twice where the fans has taken out two people, you know, in the garage door or going towards the garage door, and it's really good, like you highlighted, that they're not getting across. They're just not get, they're not taking the fight, they're not pushing low, they're not pushing through the door. And, and Crumbs and Strango in the garage are just shutting them down. Strango's playing really well. I mean, look at that two man team just shut down five players there. So, I mean, we've got an engineer in, in, the, in the garage, Woolwich. I think it's Popper. With the uh, yeah. right now. No, oh, not for yeah. long. Oh. <laughs> nice. We do have four out for spawn there. We do have something cooking here tonight. We have Fompa backed up by a medic here, and he's on his way. So this could be what they're looking for tonight. VSE incoming Fompa. He's got the dynamite out, making the plan here at the 448 mark. All right, it's down, boys. On the outside. Yep. And a three-man defense on the dynamite. Outside. Exactly, and the the sniper will defend it now from the flag area all the way because you got to look at, on the dynamite uh, because of the plant on the outside. Good work. Always try and do it there when you can. Obviously not when you're under heavy fire, but uh, they did well. I don't think we're going to see a defuse. I think this is actually going to be a decent time. Yeah. Five, four, six, Comrade Bridger. On the clock, not a bad time for assault. Absolutely not. No, that we had four minutes left uh, uh, open into them, basically. So that was uh, a very quick time. Uh, certainly could be beat. There were a good uh, probably four or five full attempts uh, there before they finally did manage to crack the garage defense and make their way up to the radar for the plant. So if uh, the, uh, the the G -Stars team, the G-Stars team, the Gang Stars team here makes uh, a similar effect but manages to get one of their earlier pushes to be that successful, then uh, they're going to be able to take advantage of, uh, of, of that fast but not super fast time. So it's certainly still possible for them to, uh, to take this one. Romney in channel reporting that that is one of the best times for Violent Solves Everything that they've sent thus far, so he must be proud. Rules are going to be reversed as the action on MP Assault continues. The game is underway, and now Gangstars take to the Axis offense tonight. What do they have to do, Merlin, to get it done? Um, I think if they take advantage of any early kills um, early, you know, um, basically what VSC couldn't do in the opening three or four minutes, it's, it's going to be like right now VSC are pushing the, the gate area, which is no, it's a big risk because you've got to get people across into the into the garage now. And we've got Neo on the sniper. He's not. He's not watching. Enough. Yeah, actually, uh, violence solves everything. Had I think three lieutenants and a soldier pushing for that gate, and I think after they threw all the grenades and the explosives over, then they just sort of uh, either killed themselves or were killed in order to back up and get that garage defense set up. But here comes a giant push here, Warwich, by uh, gang stars as they make their way towards the uh, the main uh, tarmac area. All right, four four two here on the clock. And time is running out very quickly for Gang Stars here this evening. 
This will be for the first official, well, at least casted point of the Legacy Cup. We've had, a, I believe, one match played, maybe two so far, under the radar uh, and unbroadcasted by Woolwich TV this evening. Uh, 4.22 here on the clock, and here comes the tarmac push. <coughs> Voice, I'm seeing several, maybe three or four across the tarmac, but they are being shut down. Here comes Warface. Bam! Panzerfaust out of oh. nowhere. Inlaw lays the hurt down, and Warface and Strango blown apart. Oh, yeah. I, well, I was actually looking at Neo, who, who started off sniping quite well. Uh, taken, uh, taken out three, four people, but most of them got revives or uh, respawned in time to... Uh, to be back in position before the Axis actually could lose there. Uh, what I also saw was that Neo actually had to move way up front because the the Axis couldn't get the the defense on the boxes down by the Allies. So they they're struggling a bit there, and they're gonna have to find a solution to that because at the moment it is that side that's keep that keeps knocking them down, uh, attacking over top. You know, this is not the ty type of map bridger that you see massive Panzerfaust kills. It's so large and spread out, but you are seeing Idlaw. He's picking off uh, the incoming push in onesies and twosies. Uh, you get a two-man kill on a map as large as Assault. You can call that a victory. Absolutely. That's going to stop an entire push, uh, take out one-third of their forces without any chance of, uh, of getting a revive from a medic. If you get those gibs from the Panzerfaust, that's, that's pretty much game over on that push. The rest of the team kind of either has to wait or try to take up an offensive position where they can do as much damage as possible. But there's very little chance that those four people are going to make it all the way across. Here comes a long-range Panzerfaust. Managed to dodge it there. We had uh, Strango and Gino both sort of dodge out of the way of that Panzerfaust as it came. So instead of getting a double kill there, but a grenade nicely done by Rivji right over the top of that wall there. Landed directly on top of its target. Very, very nice. Uh, he's sitting up there as a soldier, sniping, I guess, from the from the sort of spawn wall that the Allies have the advantage on there, and throw the, throw a very nice. There it is again. That. There uh, it so is see. again. Idlaw comes Ooh. out. Another two-man Panzer kill. He's got his sights locked on Warface. I think he's taking him out each and every time. It's like a heat-seeking <laughs> missile voice. <laughs> well. Uh, like you said, it's a difficult map to Panzer on, and getting two men every time is a very good job indeed. On the other, on the other hand, if I were Warface, uh, one man, but the other guy had to uh, see what see what Ilo did. Now he killed off. Uh, he shot his Panzer, killed off, and the Panzer actually still killed someone. And he has a charge again. That is good work. That is what you see. They need to see more. There's some Panzers we don't do that uh, often enough, but uh, it works for Idlaw. Nice. What I want to say about Warface, though, uh, a smart man once told me, <coughs> Marta, if you get punched every single time, it is you doing something wrong, because the punches are going to keep shooting at you. Move away or do something different where he can't expect you. So Warface, if you want to survive that puncher shot, take a different route. Now we're coming up quickly if on the one. You can dodge a wrench. You can dodge a Panzerfaust. I think is the. <laughs> yes. <laughs> coming up quickly on the one minute warning, and unless something dramatically changes here in the next 60 seconds, as we sound the alarm, Merlin, it is going to be the first point in favor of VSE. Big push here up the stairwell, going into the garage. And we see the Germans getting cut down from all directions. Just a pile of bodies. Dang, not even a single Allied casualty there. That was that was a huge, huge victory for uh, for VSC. That was the last possible push there for uh, for Gangstars. I'm pretty sure they're not going to have the time for another one. Yeah, Strango throwing out the GG there. Uh, this round looks like it's going to violence solves everything, Warwich. I'm back talking to Fraulein Natalia. Lots going on here in the background of the Access Command Center this evening. That will be officially garbage time, which will take us to a 1-0 to zero lead. For Fraulein solves everything and give them a commanding start against Gangstars tonight. Three, two, one, bam. There we go. The first casted points in the RTCW Legacy Cup. We'll take a look at the scores. Voice, break it down. If my yeah, okay. My answer to you lagged a bit there. Uh, scores. Well, VSE did a buttload of damage with 
nearly 16k damage versus 9.5-ish for uh, G-Stars. It is definitely G-Stars who need to shape up a little bit and get those Gibbs in. If you look at the 10 Gibbs yeah. versus the 36 from VSE, that's <laughs> a oh, big geez. difference. That is. Look at Zed. I mean, Zed and Idlaw, 23. Know, they stay down. Massive. Yeah, that, that's a good punch ring, you know, getting a, getting a lot of Gibbs as well. I like it. Well, as the oh, better sound the alarm here tonight. Three, two, and a one. All right, so here's the situation, comrade Bridger. This could be a very long round. This could be a solid ten minutes of nothing happening unless gang stars can change it up. Their strategy last time got largely cut apart by the Panzerfaust of Idla and the crossfire of the of uh, of the Allied defenders as well as Zed's artillery support. So now something needs to change. They're going to have to try a different approach. They're going to have to get the dynamite on that tower, and they're going to have to get themselves the plan. Absolutely, they've got so they've got the dynamite. Actually, though, they put the dynamite in the wrong place. Is that what just happened there? They didn't get to to actually plant it. There we go. Now they've got it uh, set up on the hatch. Uh, so they are going to try a. They really uh, want this hatch. The long range Panzer Faust and just barely missed. Okay, yeah. not quite, not quite. They so really want this hatch for you taken out. Not just one dynamite, but two because. <laughs> no, absolutely. Just be sure. We need more than one. Yeah, there we go. Oh no, that you're right. That one was a misplant. There we go. So that one does not go was. off. Here comes the second dynamite. About ten seconds later, is going to blow the hatch wide open. We're going to head across now the field, and we're now inside with Foppa and friends on Allied defense. Here's Zed peeking out the doorway here tonight, and uh, Merlin. I'm just I'm not seeing a lot of aggression here. Well, they've got the plant there on the warehouse entrance, but. Are you seeing any kind of a different strategy here tonight from Gangstars, or are they trying the same old, same old from last round? Uh, well, they seem to be splitting up a bit better coming out of the flag. Um, they're not getting two-man panzers as often, which was hurting them a lot. Idlaw hasn't even taken a shot yet, really. Um, so that that's a big difference. They just need to take control of the middle boxes area so they can so they can spawn kill them at the spawn boxes, and they can just try and get a panzer in the garage door or. Just, just to put a lot of pressure on, on the defending team. Oh no! Pistol fight! Pistol fight! Crumbs not quite able to take out Zed. He actually did a really good job throwing a grenade inside that garage entrance, getting a kill, and then giving it, and then trying to hold that door, preventing the allies from reinforcing the garage. He had a pistol duel with Zed that lasted for what must have been at least 10 seconds, but Zed came out on top and was able to reinforce the garage. So with that happening now, we do have another small push here from Gangstars. We have uh, Estrango and we have Kiz about to open that door of death! And again, it proves to be extremely volatile, but... Oh my oh, no! Oh, coded! 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 All right, Axis Goat shows his <laughs> horns and kicks some ass. Always good stuff. The crowd loves it. <laughs> Knife comes out. <laughs> because why use a gun? <laughs> he's, they knew he was out of ammo. He was just blasting his entire thing. He's like, he's reloading. I got this. And he comes around the corner, knife <laughs> wielding. Get to the very throat. nice, very nice. <laughs> we do have uh, Zai and Warface in the uh, in inside the garage here, taking it over for Gang Stars. I think there are still some allies up top. Yes, up top above, there are three allied defenders. Uh, now, so they are going to have a hard time coming out of that garage, but they have secured the garage as a there place we go. We have something Neo going on. A solid also push. pushing top. A solid push here for <laughs> the Axis team. Engineers backed up by lieutenants and medics. Strangos, who, with, oh, here we go, double uh, double revival right here. So this is it at 6-2-3 on the clock. It's going to be very hard they're right now, boys, for them to stop this. So go ahead, Merlin, take it away. Well, they've got five no. in the tower now, and, and the plant's going down. The plant's going down. It it's was a great push. Riff. It was actually Riff who was up at the tower, hiding there, hoping not to get caught with the Krems, the Merc, who is, of course, such a talented player, was aware of players doing that stuff, and uh, he killed them before the NG ran up. Well done, Krems. Um, yeah, this is... Uh, no. Oh, no. No. Uh -oh. no! 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 I blame Zed! No. What? <laughs> Con! No. Son of a chicken! 
Oh my. What? Oh my. What? <laughs> oh no. All right, blame Zed. Yes. God bless America. Kaplow. <laughs> <laughs> we have somebody in channel. I that was so certain. Candrex is that like my so browser yeah, crashed at the they same time. They had it on lockdown. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> Chicken is my m yeah. It's my go-to word when I'm about to drop something like an f bomb. I try to keep it clean. <laughs> <laughs> somebody TK'd the server, Nikki. No joke. <laughs> All right, Eli Manning Giants. Welcome, just in time. Classic. Return to Castle <laughs> Wolfenstein fun. So what happened there, Merlin? What happened? Um, well, it looked like uh, G-Stars were going to set a, a pretty reasonable time. It would have been something like four minutes. Um, and uh, like you say, the, the server just self-destructs. It couldn't handle such a time. <laughs> <laughs> Too fast. It's not, sure not allowed. Uh, it can't happen on assault. Yeah. The server blows itself apart. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're back in. I heard it. Yeah. The cat's even upset. Yeah, she's not happy. <laughs> so we'll find out. This will be interesting because Zed is the tournament admin. He's also playing. <laughs> so we'll see how he... Uh, yeah, that makes it mm. so difficult. Just, you know, <laughs> you always got a little shit as an admin. And now being in the actual game where stuff like this happens. We'll see how he handles this tonight. I wish, and I apologize, we do not have war room coverage here this evening. Sable the Saboteur, our communications officer, shot down in the field. So we can't actually hear what's happening on their comms, but uh, I'm sure it isn't pretty. And I'm sure all eyes are now turning to Zed, who uh, feels the pressure as we gear up now for, well, I don't know what's going to happen here. What would you do, Merlin, if you, if you were the admin, if this were the one-day cup, how would you handle this? Um, I, I'm not sure. I mean, it really depends on whether I thought um, the Allies ha had a chance of disarming it. Um, I'd probably look back at the demo quickly, um, which is always nice to look back on. Um, a, to see the time, and you know, B, to see if they had any engineers. Or, or I mean, if it was only going to if it was going to blow up in 10 seconds and the engineer was just spawning, I mean, they're not going to be able to disarm that at all. So, I think it's difficult. It's a difficult one to call. Well, I'm going to do this. Comrade Buttigieg, I'm going to hand it to you. And I am going to... Feed the go. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I think uh, the appropriate thing here, I think, would be for VSC to simply say, yeah, we, we acknowledge that we couldn't... I mean, I, I didn't see everything, but right at the end there, from what I could tell, there were about four or five members of, uh, of Gangstars sitting there defending a planted bomb which had about 10 to 15 seconds left, if I'm not mistaken, before it was going to go planted, off. It was planted at 6.08. I just looked at the demo. Quickly going to check when the server yeah. crashed. So, to me, uh, unless they actually 53. felt like uh, they had a chance uh, to take that, I think the, the classy thing for them to do would be say, yeah, you, you definitely had that. Let's just set the clock to what it would have been and and move on rather than replay the whole the whole round. But uh, again, I may have missed something. If they did have an engineer close, and there was a chance of him getting in there, it looks like Zed says 538 uh, is what it would have exploded at. I believe is that what that's saying? Uh, yeah, it's true. Server crash at 553. So yeah, they're they're kind of examining the same exact things that we're examining, uh, probably coming to the same conclusions there. <laughs> Strangle must be listening to the cast voice. He's calling you out. <laughs> All right, so uh, it 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 seems to me that based on what we're looking at here, we might be seeing just yes. a just just a, a setting of the clock. We'll have to wait and see what the right. uh, official what answer did is here. I miss. I am back. <laughs> Welcome. It looks <laughs> like it looks like they're gonna treat that as if the plant went off. Okay. Or which I can't. Oh God, cat. <laughs> well, they definitely had all the players set up around that uh, around that tower. There we go. So the question is, I mean, 
Oh, referee Warwich. There you go, he's back. Nice. Are they going to ask Warwich to make the call? <laughs> Flip a coin. You do not want to give me that kind of power. Who knows what I'll do. <laughs> well, you know, if I get another $300 worth of donations on the Warwich Twitch page... <laughs> <laughs> You're the winner! Yes. <laughs> hey, I like that idea. <laughs> there you go. You must use power uh, with responsibility, mm -hmm. I guess, or something. I don't know, Spider-Man quote, whatever. So hopefully we'll uh, we'll see them making some sort of uh, decision here. Nikki's saying to look at, at IRC it looks like yes. I'm not sure what that's about, but go ahead. So we do have a little bit delay. is asking what time to set the time. 422. 422 is what the time is going to be set for. Zed says 522. <laughs> 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 to be honest, we actually did it in 1 minute and 30 seconds. <laughs> Since you're just taking <laughs> polls. Let's just randomly throw out some numbers. So 422 is... <laughs> Art stars like hey, to well, be honest, what's it start at? Does it start at eleven minutes or ten minutes? I assume ten. Well, four twenty-two plus okay, because four twenty-two plus five thirty-eight yeah, would be would be ten. Yeah. So if that is the case, then now they're doing the math too. Yeah. Here's the storylines. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Hold on. I'm very thirsty, apparently. <laughs> uh, yeah, Nikki, I, I saw that. Um, I can't relay the comms. Uh, um, I can get them to Warwich. Same. Alright. It looks like we are just about ready. All right. Well, see that that is fair play, considering uh, the dynamite blown. Usually, further into a tournament or <coughs> with certain teams, this would lead to a whole lot of drama. Luckily, these guys are quite a sportsman about it. They just want to have fun, and uh, they'll accept it for uh, for what it was. It was definitely around going to uh, the G stars there. Well, let's see if they can defend it. Well, in the interim, while we're waiting, there's oh, a cat. Hold certain on. teams. Chat yes. room asked, and the cat came back. Well, certain teams are I think we may have missed so that, Bridger. Oh, there, <laughs> oh, there she goes. <laughs> oh. All right, apparently ladies the, and the gentlemen. I can apparently hear the chat room. That's the weirdest thing in the world. Man, what is up with my voice tonight? <laughs> no bueno. I'm fine, man. <laughs> Alright, that being said, we are going to hop back in server. Welcome back to the action tonight. And 422 has been set on the clock, so here is the storyline for you if you've missed it. VSE take to the offensive in round one, set one as the axis, and set a 546. Gangstars unable to beat it, 1 0 becomes the score. Gangstars then come back on assault and come back strong, managed to crash the server, and after 10 minutes of deliberation, <laughs> we've decided that they did get the plant at the 422 mark. So, now, BSC has got to try to beat it, but can they do it when Strangos is laying down a two-man Panzer kill? Fapa and Artstar blown away. Comrade Bridjar, take it away. Yeah, that was a great one, but what we missed before is the ridiculous amount of grenade span that properly prevented uh, the violence solves everything team from even capping the the, the, the flag there and getting their spawn the forward spawn. Uh, whoa, oh, oh, long range in law Panzerfaust that there might allow them to really push forward here with uh, two less people in the garage. That might be no people in the garage. I have to go actually look. Uh, and I see this yes, I is see blood a body massive parts. push. Here comes the team rolling forward, but cut apart. The engineer is down, and they are going to kill out. Idla remains and then shut down by Zai's long-range Thompson. So, voice, 
what happened there. Well, Ooh. they had some really good starter, and they're, they're still keeping pressure on. So, let's say the attack isn't over yet. See if they can uh, they can get uh, some advantage from this attack. Good punch from Stronger now. Given one guy killing the.